my dear students so let us start with unit 5 uh, unit 5 also includes the drugs acting on cns and this unit 5 can be categorized into three sub topics one is general anesthetics the second one is narcotic analgesics as well as narcotic antagonists the third one is anti inflammatory agents and let us see the first topic that is general anesthetics as usual we need to learn the classification first let us see the classification of general anesthetics general anesthetics are categorized into inhalational and those who are uh, those which are given intravenous route so these are classified on the basis of route of administration so inhalation means these anesthetics are given by inhaling in okay so the category of the drugs are halogenated hydrocarbons the chemical category is halogenated means there is the presence of halogens chlorine fluorine bromine chiefly where attached to the hydrocarbons hydrocarbons examples methane ethane propane okay so ethane and methane are their hydrogens are replaced with the halogens uh, the examples for halogenated hydrocarbons are halothane for halothane you need to learn the synthesis methoxyfluorine n fluorine sevofluorine isofluorine desfluorine then coming to intravenous anesthetics there are two categories again one is ultra short acting barbiturates and dissociative anesthetics ultra short acting barbiturates barbiturates you saw while we were dealing with sedatives and hypnotics there i have mentioned the example with acetal sodium for this you need to learn the synthesis thiamylal sodium and thiopental sodium sorry i have told you thiopental sodium earlier while discussing about uh, sedatives fine uh, then comes dissociative anesthetics example ketamine hydrochloride let us jump to their chemical structures as part of it we will first learn the synthesis of halothane so the structure of halothane is this one so if you observe it is a ethane ethane is two carbon containing hydrocarbon ethane carbon valence is 4 so ch3 ch3 is ethane so here hydrogens are replaced with fluorine this hydrogen with fluorine this hydrogen with fluorine and this hydrogen kept as such and this hydrogen with chlorine this hydrogen with bromine so in halothane you have to remember that there are there are three halogens one is fluorine bromine chlorine so there are three fluorines one bromine and one chlorine so these all are attached to ethane this is how you need to remember the structure let us see the synthesis it is synthesized from trichloroethylene so ethylene it is telling you that it is a double bond containing hydrocarbon so trichloro indicates that there are three chlorine atoms chlorine is a easy leaving group so that is the reason we select a reagent with chlorines okay we can replace chlorines easily so then using hydrofluoric acid and tin chloride at 130 degrees centigrade we will get tri fluoro chloroethane so then we will add bromine we will get a bromine attached here and halothane is synthesized okay so use of halothane is it is a potent safe and frequently employed general inhalation anesthetic so whatever the use is asked when the drug is coming under the chapter called general anesthetic the use will be used as general anesthetic you have to mention whether it is an inhalational or it is given by intravenous route next let us see the structure of methoxy fluorine methoxy fluorine it is having methoxy methoxy indicates that there is a och3 ch3 metha oxygen oxy methoxy group attached to one of the carbons in ethane again ethane there are two chlorines for first carbon two fluorines 
on second carbon and extra OCS3. So the use is it is employed to cause light anesthesia with help with the deep analgesic and muscle relaxation feature which make it convenient for surgical operation. So methoxyfluorine is used in surgical operation. The next one comes enfluorine. Enfluorine is having ethane with an ether link to a methane. So halothane and methoxyfluorine are ethane analogs. But enfluorine is a ethoxy methane. Ethoxy methane. So here how hydrogens are replaced with what halogen is to be remembered. The first carbon is having chlorine and fluorine. Second carbon is having fluorine and fluorine. Then an ether linkage then to fluorine to the third carbon. Right. So this is having the use that is used in convulsive disorders, convulsion, schizophrenia. Right. Then sevofluorine is having CF3 on second carbon. Okay. Then isofluorine is similar to the structure of enfluorine. Why? Here the difference is attachment of chlorine. Chlorine is here and fluorine is here, inter exchange of the positions. Okay? Fluorine goes here, chlorine comes here in case of isofluorine. The molecular formula is same for enfluorine and isofluorine. Then the last one is desfluorine. Desfluorine is having again three fluorine atoms for first carbon, one fluorine atom on second carbon, two fluorine atoms on third carbon. So how to compare? We have to remember the structure of halothane as such, then methoxyfluorine. We have to remember that halothane and methoxyfluorine are having ethane skeletons. Skeletons, ethanes. Ethane, halothane, and methoxyfluorine is also ethane. And rest all examples will have ethoxymethane. Ethoxymethane in influence, evofluorine, isofluorine, and desfluorine. Among these things, these four agents, we have to compare enfluorine and isofluorine with respect to the chlorine and fluorine's position because the molecular formula is same. Then you have to remember sevofluorine and desfluorine separately. So this is how you need to practice. Then comes the next category that is barbiturates. Among them, methohexital is the first example. So, methohexital is a barbiturate. We have to remember that barbiturate, I already told you the general structure. And fifth position is having two substituents. One is propene and the other one is hexane. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six carbon, so hex. And the triple bond is at one, two, three, third position. So, 3 hexane, 3 hexane side chain and propene side chain are there for the barbituric acid. So that makes the structure of methohexital sodium. Sodium means here Na. Na plus O minus and double bond will be absent. Okay, that is sodium salt. If you remove sodium, you have to put double bond O. If you, sodium is there, o, uh, o will attain the minus charge and sodium will be positively charged and double bond will not be there. Okay, that is the difference with this difference between salt form and the normal so normal compound. Let us see the synthesis of methohexital. It is synthesized from the starting material that is one butyl magnesium bromide. One, two, three, four. So first carbon is having the triple bonds, that is the reason one and butyl magnesium bromide okay this is r m g is magnesium x x stands for halide r means alkyl magnesium is the elemental compound okay so it is this is a grignard reagent okay r is butyl group okay magnesium halogen is bromine 
okay for this acetaldehyde added so you will get acetaldehyde attached here and the rearrangement will make the structure look like this okay then if this intermediate is this intermediate is treated with phosphorus pentachloride you will get 2 chloro 3 hexane then this is added with 1 2 ethoxy sodium ethoxide sodium ethoxide in the presence of uh, sodium ethoxide is added with the loss of hydrogen chloride and this is attached to 2 chloro 3 hexane and you will get intermediate 2 when it is added with allyl bromide that is the side chain side chain and you will get a malonic ester kind of melonate this one is the melonate and this melonate when combined with n n methyl urea n methyl urea methyl attached to this nitrogen and this is a urea urea and malonic ester with side chains attached prior will make a barbitric acid to get synthesized if you remember the synthesis of barbital it is the similar one but here what we are doing first we are attaching side chains to the melonate then melonate is finally fused with the urea so that we will get the final structure final barbiturate ok next move on to thiamylal sodium we have to remember the thiopental thiamylal as well as uh, yeah, thiopental and thio, thiamylal sodium all, both are uh, barbiturate so you know this basic structure of barbiturate so remember thia will have always sulfur ok in place of oxygen and here also it is propene one side chain the other side chain is uh, 1 2 3 4 5 pentane in thiamylal sodium in thiopental you have again so sulfur here and ethyl side chain is the difference from the thiamylal and thio pentol and uh, the other dissociative anesthetic is ketamine hydrochloride this is the short acting bar uh, short acting general anesthetic so this is the ketone group right c double bond o and this is amine that is the reason its name is ketamine fine and you have to remember that this is there is a phenyl ring and a cyclohexane ring and the attachments fine let us see the synthesis it is synthesized from alpha chloro benzonitrile alpha chloro alpha chloro benzonitrile plus again it is a Grignard reagent X it is Br magnesium as such or here is cyclopentane so it is a cyclopentyl Grignard this when treated right with the removal of hydrogen bromide you will get alpha chlorophenyl cyclopentyl ketone when it is brominated further you will get a bromo derivative of the same and here methylamine is added so you will get amino alcohol and here what happens a 1 comma 2 shift a rearrangement happens this hydrogen goes here and forms a double bond O and here the 5 membered ring will be cyclized into 6 membered ring and this bond shifts here and becomes NHCH3 and we will get finally ketamine hydrochloride so this is the summary of general anesthetics do revise and practice each structure to remember better right